What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. The first like official day that I actually have this car, I have to leave. So uh, like I said in a couple videos back, I am heading over to Indianapolis for an event for Honda. I'll be driving in their Indy car on the track, which is gonna be insane. But before I do that, Sean has never seen this car before. So I'm gonna take it over by his house and uh, show him before I have to go to the airport. But I am I'm on a serious time crunch right now. My flight leaves at 2.05 and it is 11 o'clock. I have about an hour drive to the airport. So cutting it close, let's head over to Sean's house, show him the car and then go to the airport. car puts a constant smile on my face. I love it. Ooh, what up, boy? Let me pull in here so I'm not blocking the road. What Damn. up, dude? Damn. What? What do you think, bro? He's clean. On the boys, bar, baby. Damn. This is the first time Sean's seen the car, so. Dude, this dude, is sick. Type bar and NSX, dude. Bro, on the boys. We out here. Just we out here. here. One of my favorite parts about this car are the seats, 100%. So, let's check it out. Ooh, like a glove, baby. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, hold you in real good. Bring all the neighbors. What's up, dude? Let's go up. Good to see you, man. Let's see you. I've never revved this car even. And all, but the weird thing about this car that I did see is that it only revs up to 4K until you get like the Flash Pro or the K Sport ECU or whatever it is, but super, super awesome. Hell yeah, Thank Dustin. You know. Good pickup, bro. You gotta do a shoot, bro. Yeah, really soon we will. The first day that I actually had, like, have the car for a full day, I, I, I leave for the yeah. entire weekend. It's okay, so. dude. I'll take care of it for you. Just give me the keys. Oh right yeah, here. you got the keys, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can't stop looking at it, but, dude, I'm probably gonna be late. For, I'm gonna be late. Yeah, you'll be late. You can probably go. <laughs> I should probably go. I just wanted to stop by, show Sean the car. I didn't even notice this. Look at this. The back of the seats. Dude, it's so nice. There's a lot of room back here. Dude, yeah. You should, like have people back here. Dude, look at the look at this. I've seen it. Oh, Damn. dude, I can I can either put all my camera equipment back here, or I can even film out of the back here. Or you can just put my whole body. Yeah, you can just <laughs> ride back here. So it doesn't need to see. Hell yeah, dude. All right, but for real, I'm gonna be late. I gotta go. Congrats, brother. Safe travels. Thanks, I'll dude. See you when you get back. All right, bro. We'll make yeah, bro. tons of Type R NSX videos. Yeah, it's gonna be ready, insane. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Actually, before I leave, fill my protein bottle real fast. Okay, we are on the way. Hopefully I make it in good time. So you guys know that I have to park these cars on the street. So it sucks for me to like leave these cars for a few days. I'm gonna drop it off where it'll be safe and then take an Uber to the airport. I'm in the works right now to try and find a house with a garage. So hopefully uh, in the coming weeks I can do some like house tours and kind of check some places out to make sure that I have somewhere to store these cars. Cause pretty soon I'm gonna have the Evo too and I'm gonna have a Type R and Evo sitting on the side of the road. Uh, no. Let's get going. So I guess this will be where the Type R stays for the weekend. I'm gonna hate leaving this car, especially just because this is the first day that I had it. But either way, I called the Uber. He is about six minutes away or something. Today's pretty much just gonna be a travel vlog. And at the end, I think I'm gonna do a Q&A on questions that you guys have about the Type R. So if you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, you definitely should be so you can get on on these Q&As. But go ahead, grab my stuff, and uh, let's get out of here. Beckerman. You're in charge of the Type R this weekend. Let me get them keys, brother. No keys. What? No keys. What? You just you just I get can't to look. Drive it? You get to look over it. Oh my god! All right. I don't want any pink wheels. I don't want any stickers. Ooh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> bad idea. Up. Oh, he passed me. This Uber driver is super lost. So let me go. <laughs> Now 
now time to find where I am supposed to go. I think it's over there. It's us. This is literally the worst part. All right, finally made it through the TSA. We are good to go. I've never actually been to Indianapolis, so I'm kind of curious on how it is. Now, a lot of you guys actually DM me or like commented on the video and told me that you're actually from Indianapolis. So I hope to see some of you guys at the track today. Unfortunately, I'm already at the track now. If you see me, say what's up. And thank you guys that came and saw me, what's up. All right, I go to my gate. It's gonna be a full day of flying. I probably won't get home to Indianapolis until 1 a.m. or so. And it's a long day, but I'll update you guys uh, when we're in Indianapolis. These are the travel lifesaver. If you're traveling and you're hungry, these are the go-to. So good. Oh, this is miserable. It is 12 o'clock in the morning in Indianapolis. We just got off the plane. It's been a very, very long day. I'm gonna call an Uber, head to the hotel, and we're gonna do a little Q&A on the Type R. shower I'm feeling good we're in the hotel room it is 12 56 in the morning right now and it's like 9 or 10 o'clock back home in California so my sleep schedule is all messed up that shower actually like really woke me up but either way I told you guys I was doing a type R Q&A and we're gonna go ahead and do that I asked you guys for questions on Twitter and Instagram so we'll just do a few of each I did look at these questions before me doing this right now and the most asked question was why did I pick the type R over the GTR and there are billions reasons why I did that but I'm gonna make that into a whole separate video so I'm just gonna answer some of the generic questions that you guys asked start with Instagram let's scroll down here we have a we have a lot of DMs here so what's the plans with the type R street show stance or track so I'm thinking I definitely do want to put the type R on the track just because the car handles so well like I'm mind blown driving it on the street. Put that car in R plus mode and it handles amazing. The suspension feels great. So I definitely want to put it on the track, but it's going to be more of like a take it to shows. I want it to be like a nice daily car. Cause like, um, I'm going to go into further detail on another video about this, but car will be at like shows. I do want to track it. Just, it's going to be a mix of all of them. It's not a dedicated car to any one thing just yet. What do I like most about the Type R? What I like most about the Type R is probably the uh, the way it handles, the way it drives. It's just, it's literally incredible. Until you've actually ridden in one or driven one, you, you really won't understand, but it's awesome. What will be my first mod? My first mod on the Type R will 110% be changing up the wheels because I hate the wheels on that car. The sizing spec of the wheels, I don't know what they were thinking when they did that, but I think I'm gonna go get wheels this coming up week. Why would I buy a front wheel drive car? That's probably a good question to end on. So I don't care if it's front wheel drive or all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. I have two all wheel drive cars. I don't need another all wheel drive car. The reason why I didn't pick a rear wheel drive car is because I was gonna do an FRS, but I decided to push that off to a later date. Number one, because you guys really, really expressed to me that you are tired of seeing those being built. I completely agree with that. They're very overdone right now. So I wanted to push the FRS and BRZ or 86, whatever, later down the line. I drove the GTST uh, with the RB20 in it and I was not super impressed. Definitely a fun car to drive, very unique since you're on the right side of the road, but the RB20 felt more 
like a 240 than I did a GTST, if that makes any sense. So there's no really rear wheel drive cars that I'm super interested in right now. Then comes the Type R, front wheel drive, but it has the Hydrolonic, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like Hydrolonic or something, limited slip differential, which completely eliminates the torque steer that you find in a front wheel drive car. You guys saw in the video, I was doing so many pulls and the, the wheel literally stays straight. There's no steer, it's, I'll show that more in a later video, but either way, it is super late. I have a long day tomorrow to charge all of my camera equipment. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.